ACC race and the playoff chase. Touchback and Book will begin from the 25 yard. Book had a clean pocket but no one to throw to. Still surveying the field and now he'll be sacked way back at the seven yard line. End up dropping their linebackers and just sitting back and taking all of his receivers away. Great coverage downfield, nowhere to go for Ian Book. And the last game against BC on for an early punt. And Daz Newsom is a dangerous receiver, comes up and takes it at the 50 and takes an immediate hit. Chose not to fair catch the football, but nothing on the return. Good coverage. Hand off inside, Michael Carter breaking tackles into the Irish secondary and weaving his way down to the 20. All these weapons, they're very effective red zone offense. Howell has to elude pressure, still alive, and now will scramble. Makes a cut. Lowers his shoulder and still fighting. It'll be first and goal before Hamilton wrestled him down. Sam Howe. It, it, normally, he's just going to be taken down, but he shows outstanding athletic ability, the balance. He got the left hand down, and he ends up picking up the first down. If I'm Clark Lee right now, I, when I get my defense over, it, guys. Like the matchups for the backs as well. And Williams is to the right of Howe. He's got the football looking to make a cut, running into heavy traffic. He'll lose yardage. And so the Irish defense... Long throw to the corner of the end zone. Jump ball. Touchdown. Emery Simmons beats Bracey. And the Tar Heels draw first blood. In there right as he released the ball. But, you know, you talk about all these receivers. You don't really mention Simmons very much. But there's a matchup against Bracey. Ball is underthrown. How about the adjustment, the body control by Emery Simmons to come back? Both in there now. On second and two, Kyron Williams hammers forward. Again, one of these stories, a guy who has just become a complete running back. Come back for your last year to kind of be part of that legacy and turn this program around. Book down the seam, and there's the tight end you talked about. Michael Mayer, the six foot five freshman from Kentucky. They hand it to him. And Tyree shows a burst and the freshman into the secondary before Conley stopped him at the 25. Correll climb and get up to the second level. Great job by Aaron Banks, the left guard. And there's 52, the young guy, getting up there, making a great block and opening that up. And we get so caught up in Williams, but Tyree runs a 4-4. Take it to Tyree. Book takes off. He's got some space and a blocker. Ian Book. Inside the 10 and knocked out at the 6. They, they, they're concerned about blitzing, and if they do, we can't let him get outside. So instead, he steps under, picks up a nice block, but now he's got a receiver in McKinley that's able to lead him down. So Jay Bateman and this defense worked all week on saying, let's not let him play backyard football. They're over here right now. Second and goal, Williams. Muscling, leaning, and scoring on that right side as the Irish, a long touchdown march to tie this game. Promise land, watch the push down by 24. Mayer does a good job of climbing up to that safety, but a nice physical run by Kyron Williams as Grimes, the freshman corner, gets to him. He's got the leg drive to get it into the end zone. What can you do as a defender? They come in at angles. You're already you're knocked off balance. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's really not a whole lot you can do. The mask about every waking minute. First down, and Howell on play action checks it down and puts it to Daz Newsom. And he is one of the most dangerous guys in the country after the catch. War yards after contact to just about anybody out there. All thrown downfield, long developing play, good pass protection, and then just checks it down. It's the importance again of tackling. Al over the middle, low throw, and Deami Brown goes down to collect it. First down in Notre Dame territory. It's his offense. They pick it to Williams. Al from the pocket, lofts it downfield. That's Brown in stride, dragged down at the one. The first electric long pass play for this Tar Heel offense. Watch Crawford right here. I, he just kind of eyes him and waits for him to make a decision. He goes with the crossing route, the underneath route to the tight end, so he leaves Brace. I'm Crawford to safety and making the call. 
On first and goal, Howell keeps the football, makes a cut, and scores. That was quick. The long electric play by De'Ami Brown sets up the one-yard run. Tar Heels back on top. And then I thought he might have handed this off. I think Notre Dame thought so too. But again, Sam Howell showing that athletic ability enough to make you pay for it if you don't remember that he can run it. Here's the progressive pylon. He's not sudden, but he's also not afraid to take a shot. Down that last kickoff. There's a running back, right? Yeah. Play action book. Has to avoid the rush. Wafting downfield. And a leaping catch made by Javon McKinley. Of Ian Book. Ian Book showing strength in that hand. Right there, he hits him. Pulls it down. Hole commits in the league. And there's Book taken off. Sheds a tackle. It'll stiff arm in space. Book headed outside the five yard line. Stopped at the seven. Another back power here. He's going to follow who else? 24 and bank. Then he shows that, that, that natural athletic ability that Ian Book has and allows you to run the quarterback. Design quarterback run gives you an extra blocker and an extra hat that that defense has to account for. And I'll tell you, man. Book in the shotgun on second and goal. Bobble the snap, backpedaling, trying to make something happen. Book flips it down, and from a disastrous start, they're going to get a score. Dumped down to Tyron Williams, who dives to the pylon. That was Book. Backyard football. Let's take a peek to make sure he extends to the pylon, and he does. That's a touchdown. But but Zeke Carell snaps this ball as if he thinks it books underneath him. The progressive pylon cam gets knocked out, shows that he scored. But he snapped that ball like he's under. This, this is backyard football. It's where Ian Book makes you pay for it. I love that he didn't he didn't try to run it. Got rid of it immediately. Williams has the quarter. And gives a little stiff arm there to Kyle Hamilton. A couple of future NFL players colliding. They fake it to him. Ah, how will be swarmed. He kind of withstood the initial sandwich, spun free, but is sacked for a two-yard loss there. Keep an eye right here with Bo Bauer. I think I think he wants to throw the ball right here on that slant, the glance route right here, but it's taken away because Bauer does not come up into the running game. Well, Carter is the back. Howell has protection, zips it across the middle, throws into traffic. It's incomplete. Three tight ends in the game, second and short. And fighting for first down yardage. Williams gets it to the 37. Hester on the stop. Control the ball, 35, 36 minutes. Book has time in the pocket, but no one to throw to. And he'll be dragged down for a short loss by Taman Fox. For three years, stay in there, stay in there, stay in there, right? <laughs> now it's get out of there. Go. Yeah. yeah. Third and six. Our heels again collapse the pocket. Book trying to make some magic again. Still alive. Spinning, twisting, and scrambling, and now throwing it short of the first down. <laughs> Williams gets it. The play into, into kind of a backyard football play. We just talked about be patient, be patient. It almost cost him again, by the way. And th this is what he's known for. He gets out of there. He's trying to look downfield to see if he can find anybody else with a shot at a first down. Fake it to Carter. Howell has to fight just to avoid the safety. Coral Roma comes on the blitz right there and I think catches Sam Howe off guard. He wanted to pull it out, but a really good job in coverage by the backers who are in the middle of the field. Third and long Irish rush for Howell dumps it off. Williams nowhere to go. Tackled immediately by Kyle Hamilton and the Irish defense. Rises up and forces a three and out. Been tough for everybody to stop. They need five on this third down. And that time he delivers a strike. Big Michael Mayer has got it. And they move the sticks into Tar Heel territory at the 43. Four-man rush. Brooke has lots of time to survey. Nobody open. Still looking. And now flips it. And it's incomplete. Mayer was fighting back to the ball. Up two teams. Tar Heels are 0-18 all time. We're going to be positive about today's question. Which team has the most wins? It's Noosa making the catch, and all of a sudden they're backed up no longer. So the most wins against top two teams. Gets you spread out and puts all these speedy guys on the field. On second and ten, Hal swarmed and sacked, and the Irish pass rush imposing itself. Maris Leifau, the freshman. 
Ball out quickly. Catch made by Newsom. Can he make something happen? Yes, he can. Electric after the catch. A couple good blocks on the outside. Walston does one of the blocks to the inside. He also picks up a block by Brown. Then the stiff arm and just raw speed. Crawford has a chance there, but the stiff arm. They rush four across the middle. Catch made and hammered. Hamilton just leveling, and now we've got flags down. Even smiling, and for Notre Dame, boy, a significant loss to that secondary. Ball moved to the 44, and once again, Carter escapes, still running yards after contact. You said it an hour ago. Yeah, Hamilton, and, and right away he gets tested out in space, trying to make this tackle right here. Tough thing to do when you've been on the sideline for most of the game and then come in and have to deal with each man or the man going downfield. Williams wrestled down right at the line of scrimmage. Minute 15 to halftime. Struggled a bit beyond 40 yards. Not total trust in the kicker from Mac Brown, but this one right down the middle as we approach halftime. That's about as perfect of rhythm and timing from a snap, a hold, and a kick. He's been held catchless. Book surveys, scrambles, and just throws it away into the bench. Hopper pressured him. A little bit of a hamstring problem early in the year. Flip it to Williams. He gets out of bounds. They preserve the timeout. First down into Carolina territory. Mayer has been targeted a few times, but it's not been an explosive pass game yet for the Irish. Book lofts the ball on the sidelines. That guy's been pretty busy, though. McKinley goes up, uses the 6-4 frame for the catch. Book looking to throw, holds the ball, and now we'll just throw it away. A flag comes in. Oh, my goodness. Mayer was running in coverage there against the safety. Chapman. And he makes it 13 for 17 on the year with the chip shot. And the Irish do draw even. Get the feeling they got a big player or two left in this game. And a first down throw and a slant. And the catch is made at the 35-yard line. Jay Brown is actually in now. Houston Griffith would be in there as well for him. And flying up is Drew White. Adjustment from Clark Lee. If they're going to bounce outside, let's chase it down. Let's attack downhill with our backers and let them be able to get penetration and then use our speed. They did that from about the third possession on. All but the two Notre Dame defenders standing up on this snap and falling down is Williams. Just lost his footing as he darted forward. I, I, I think he went down. Second and ten. Book looking back to the left and delivers. Catch made to far side. McKinley has been busy and reliable. Third and six. Book grabs the snap, throws off the back foot. Long throw. Catch made, but is it enough? Avery Davis gets involved, but doesn't have first down yardage. Fourth and a half yard. Trey Morrison was there. I think it's going to happen when you do that over the middle off your back foot. They fake it to Williams. This is Book on the wrong sideline. Now there's Skaronic who's got it. They gave him a little cushion, and he collects it and gets to midfield. Career winning percentage, the Book. Third and ten, short throw. Mayer's got it, and he's got a first down yardage. Spun down at the 35 by Conley. Twelfth play of a time-consuming Irish drive. Book lost it downfield, and out comes the flag. Joe Wilkins interfered with by Tony Grimes. Warners have to have a very short memory. He's got ability. Tight ends roll to the right. Skaronic on the end around, and he will score standing up. Pure power football. The Irish run behind big bodies, and it's a 97-yard touchdown drive to claim the lead. Sweep, just a quick handoff here. They think that Williams may be getting it, but... See the freshman, 87, Mayer makes a nice block, and of course, 24, Tremble downfield. Here they come. Powell trying to escape, and he can't. Your guy Leofau just came Man. barreling into the backfield. Ship about doubled up the Tar Heels in that department today. Backpedaling on third and five, and it's over the head of Williams, who had space and would have had a first down. Magnified in importance because Notre Dame's offense is, has got a rhythm going to get the football back. And here's a rare punt return by Salerno. First time we've seen a punt brought back. This is the top of the NFC West. 
Buck looking to throw on first down, took a peek downfield, and now he will launch for McKinley, who's got it. And he's dragged down inside the 20 by Tyler McMichael. Notre Dame's identity is their physicality. They run 62% of the time, but when they do take shots, they want to hit them. They get one-on-one -on -one chances because of that run game, and they field it with the size of these receivers. Notice how Ian Book puts it way up in the air. Is with the bigger receiver against Grimes. Book takes off. Lost his balance early in the run, stumbles forward, and is stopped well short of the marker at the 14. Fourth down. How about end over end? Whoa! He pushed it! A complete shake and a miss, and it's still a seven point game for the kicker coming back to his home state. Oh, and the heels trying to get the rhythm back now. Carter makes a cut and jumps over a man. Barrels out, good run to the 36 before Uso Koromora got him. Five here. Williams won't get there. Could not turn the corner and escape. Ogundeji and his fourth down. Final seconds of the third quarter, third and ten. Three-man rush. The book's got time, but nobody open. A long way to go to get there with his legs. He doesn't make it. It is knocked out of bounds. No flag on the near sideline here. The tempo and wearing down a defense feel at all in this game. Al trying to escape. Does, but will not get first down yardage. Kiernan with the punt. Kiernan will backpedal and make a fair catch. That's an excellent punt. And it backs Notre Dame up to the 15. Terrific battle. Buck pressured, flushed. Chase an underhanded flip into traffic. Are you kidding me? I mean, it works out as Mayer makes the catch. He just flung it in the air. First of all, they get him again in coverage. Nowhere to go with the ball. He's got to try to create. Watch this. Airborne back against the grain, against his body. I don't know if anybody can make that play other than 12 for Notre Dame. I don't know if anybody wants to. I know. Not had a big game against this Tar Heel defense. Still looking to make an impact play. Ramblett, not his best. And fair caught at the 33-yard line by Newsom. He's earned some time off to kick his feet up and watch some football. In traffic, zipped across the middle. Yami Brown makes the catch and takes a seat right there. They'll move the six to the 46. In a very frustrating second half for Howell in this offense. They can erase all of that if they can find the end zone here and tie the game. Beginning to find some rhythm again. That's Brown again out of bounds. First down. Again. Have not converted a third down in the second half. Howell could have run early, hesitated, and then it closed down. Tagovailoa Amosa stops him. And it's fourth down. He wanted to throw the ball to his left, to his guy, Brown, but he's not. he doesn't get separation. By the time he does, Howell's just running for his life. All they did was rush four. Football. And now we got, we got a penalty here well after the play, obviously. Two players jawing each other. Well, the Irish will try to... Ground and pound and shoe clock and a good start to the drive as Kyron Williams is in the clear. Trying to deliver one of those stiff arms for some ushers him out. Watch Tommy Tremel right here just kind of open this up. You got the vision by Williams. Now he's got blocks downfield. Skoranek does a nice job just kind of shielding the young freshman Grimes. And then it's just about speed, getting to the open field. But a good job at the initial point attack. That they use all of the play clock. High percentage throw to McKinley. Doesn't really want to get out of bounds. And they'll be tackled along the sideline. It's another first down, though. Williams. Stutter step. Stiff arm. Creates space. And he dragged down another first down. Crooting very well. Yeah. Book looking to throw for it on third and five. Pitch. Catch. Dive. Takis, the seldom used tight end as a receiver, gets a chance to catch a pass. First and goal, Williams, easy. Leans forward, and the Irish wear down the Carolina defense. Another marathon march, that time 89 yards. This is what they wanted to do. Like I said, 
Carolina's used to winning the fourth quarter because of tempo and wearing teams down, but it, not tonight. They only ran 53 snaps. Again, because if Notre Dame and Clemson split, I think you'll find the committee will keep them both in the playoff. Oh, the pass rush for the Irish has been a huge story tonight. Ogundeji with the sack along with Dalen Hayes. For it to go that way, the way this defense is played, he's right here on that on the right tackle. You know, he has great speed, but there he shows power. Plays early in this game was ejected for targeting, and this defense hasn't missed a beat with him on the sideline. It says a lot about their preparation as a group. The amount of work they do in the mental reps, even though you're a backup. Walston made a catch there. That was his first. They thought they had a potential mismatch at tight end. Ian Book's very first start he was here in 2017. He's come a long way since then. His 29th victory as an Irish quarterback. That'll move him among the career leaders of that. He's going to have that record by himself.